I love telling people this story because it's true. In my advanced sommelier exam, um, I, which I, I passed, uh, you know, my, my first go, and I walked out of it, and everybody turned and looked at me, and a couple of people were bumping me, going, I bet you love that Augusta question. And I was like, what Augusta question? They were like, the question that asked, what's the first AVA in America? I was like, oh, isn't that Napa? <laughs> so I didn't know. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but anyway, it's true. I, you know, it's the very first one that got that uh, AVA uh, approval from the what was then called the, the uh, BATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And when the purpose of all that is to control the use of the name. I mean, you can certainly, maybe with Augusta, people have trouble understanding why that's so important, but imagine if I was making a wine in Kansas City and I decided to call it Napa. I mean, that would create confusion. It would also be trading upon the, the value of someone else's name that they theoretically have built value into over decades of time. And Augusta saw the same thing, that we have a heritage that goes back to the 19th century. We make wines of a particular style in a particular place from particular grapes. And we want people to know when they see the name Augusta AVA that it comes from this place and has that heritage.